At Kabul airport this morning, these may be among the last Afghans getting out. The United States and partners from around the world are scrambling to take out thousands more Afghans by Tuesday. But soon the foreign troops will have to be evacuating themselves too. So the window is closing for Afghans to get on flights. And not everyone will make it. Last night, I spoke to Zabiullah Mujahid, the Taliban spokesman and a senior official. He arrived with an armed entourage. He's been doing interviews by phone in hiding for years. This is one of his first ever one-on-one, -on -one, face to face interviews. The United States is evacuating and it is taking out Americans who worked with U.S. forces. But not everyone is going to be able to make it out. Will you let those people leave in the future? Can you guarantee their safety? We don't want our countrymen to go to America. Whatever they have done in the past, we have given them amnesty. We need young, educated professionals for our nation. But if they want to leave, it's their choice. What would you say to women, Afghan women, who are terrified? They are our sisters. We must show them respect. They should not be frightened. The Taliban are humans and from this country. They have fought for their country. Women should be proud of us, not scared. There are already reports of Taliban fighters taking young women, unmarried women, as brides, forced brides. There have been reports of people going into homes. This is propaganda from the old regime. We have no evidence of a single case. This war started when Osama bin Laden, as a guest of the Taliban, organized 9-11 attacks. Can you guarantee that this country will never again be a base for terrorism? When Osama bin Laden became an issue for the Americans, he was in Afghanistan. Although there was no proof he was involved, now we have given promises that Afghan soil won't be used against anyone. You still don't think that Osama bin Laden carried out 9-11? There is no evidence. Even after 20 years of war, we have no proof he was involved. So it sounds like even now, after all of this, you're accepting no responsibility. There was no justification for this war. It was excuse for war. How are you feeling right now, after 20 years, and the Americans are leaving? The withdrawal is almost finished. These are our happiest moments. After the interview, we made our way to the airport. Inside the airport, the evacuations are moving along. But the mood is somber. These are Afghans who don't take the Taliban at their word, escaping while they still can. Getting out of Kabul is only the first step in this process. Then they come to countries like Qatar or Germany where they are processed. That can be extremely lengthy. State Department officials here say they are seeing many, many people arrive. Not a lot of correct documentation. Solid. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.